Hey y'all, welcome back, and if you're new here, welcome. My name's Stephanie. Today I'm gonna to show y'all what I was able to make using pom-poms and a rug underlay. Be sure to stay tuned until the end to see how it all comes together and to find out how to enter my 1500 subscriber giveaway. Today's video is part of a playlist where seven of us creators are getting together to help our good friend Amanda over at Six Kids in a Glue Gun celebrate her son's birthday today. I will leave a link to all these wonderful ladies' channels down in the description box below, along with a link to the playlist, so be sure to go over and check out what awesomeness they came up with today. To make the pom-poms for this project, I start by taking two toilet paper rolls and place the end of the yarn between them and wrap the yarn around the rolls 120 times. I want these pom-poms to be on the larger side and really full once they are completely shaped. You can wrap the yarn around the rolls as many times as you like depending on how full you want your pom-poms to be. This is by far the easiest method that I've found to make pom-poms. It makes it so easy to make as many pom-poms as you need while watching your favorite TV show. This project does end up using a lot of pom-poms in eight different colors, but I'll show and tell you more about those in just a few minutes. I will also leave all the numbers per color in the description box below so they're easier to find. I also want to mention that I picked up all the yarn I'm using in today's video from Walmart. Once I had the yarn wrapped around the rolls 120 times, I cut the yarn off and pulled out a fairly long piece of yarn and cut it off so that I could tie the pom-pom. To secure the pom-pom, I put the longer piece of yarn over the center of the rolls and pulled it through the other side and pulled it tight, removing the toilet paper rolls once I had the yarn pulled tight enough to hold itself into place. Then I secured it with a tight double knot. Once I had the pom-pom securely tied, I took some scissors and cut both sides open, making sure I cut through all the loops so that the pom-pom would be fully open. To make the template to shape the pom-poms, I traced the open end of a glass candle from Walmart twice onto some cardboard and cut them out. Next, I took a small screwdriver with a sharp tip and made a hole in the center of one of the cardboard circles and used a pair of scissors to make the hole a bit bigger so the yarn tails would easily fit through. Next, to shape the pom-pom, I fed the tail through the hole in the circle and flattened out the top of the pom-pom as much as possible, then placed the other circle on top, creating a yarn sandwich. Then holding down onto the cardboard circle, I used a very sharp pair of scissors to cut off the excess yarn sticking outside the sandwich. Just a tip here, it'll be so much easier to do this if you use a good sharp pair of scissors. Once I had all the excess yarn cut off, I removed the top circle and shook out the pom-pom and cut any long pieces I may have missed. Next, I removed the pom-pom from the circle with the hole and turned it onto its side, again flattening it out as much as possible. I then worked the tails up to the top and put them in the middle so they wouldn't get cut off. Then I placed the pom-pom back in the sandwich and again cut off the excess yarn. I want to thank all my wonderful subscribers. I recently hit 1,500 subscribers, and I honestly can't thank y'all enough. Y'all mean the absolute world to me. So as my way of saying thanks, I want to do a giveaway for a $25 Amazon gift card. To enter, all you have to do is be a subscriber. So if you aren't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Click that button, like this video, and leave a rainbow emoji in the comments below. I'll choose a winner on July 21st. Once I've chosen a winner, I will announce it on my community tab and on my Instagram. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, that information's in the description box down below as well. Once I have all the excess yarn cut off, I again remove the cardboard circles and shake out the pom-pom. Then I trim up any long pieces that I might've missed. And that's it, the pom-pom's finished. It's super easy to make them using this method. As I mentioned earlier, this project does take quite a few pom-poms. I used 20 white, 19 red, 15 orange, 13 yellow, 11 green, 8 teal or light blue, 
seven dark blue, and six purple pom-poms. Have you guessed what I'm making yet? To make all of these, I used two skeins of the white, red, orange, and yellow yarns and one skein of the green, teal, blue, and purple yarns. Next, I used one of the non-skid rug pads from Walmart that fits a rug up to two foot by six foot. I'm showing that Dollar Tree also carries these rug pads, but for the size of rug I'm making, I needed two of them and my Dollar Tree was out. Once I had the rug pad laid out on the table, I began to lay out the design for the rug I'm making. I started on one side laying out 10 of the white pom-poms to form a cloud, then laid out six purple pom-poms in an arch shape over to where the other cloud should be and formed it with the remaining 10 white pom-poms. Now that I had the start and end to the rainbow, I continued laying all the pom-poms on the rug pad in rainbow order and played around with them until I was happy with the way it looked. Once I was satisfied with the way the rainbow looked, I began tying the pom-poms in place by feeding the tails of the pom-poms through two of the holes in the rug pad and tying them in a tight triple knot. I continued tying all the pom-poms down, working my way from one end of the rainbow to the other. Now that all the pom-poms were securely tied into place, I took a sharp pair of scissors and cut off all of the excess rug pad, being very careful not to cut too close to where the pom-poms were tied onto the pad. Next, I turned the rainbow rug over and carefully cut off all the pom-pom tails, making sure to not get too close to where they were tied. To finish this project, I fluffed up all the pom-poms and trimmed off any of the long pieces of yarn. And that's it, y'all. This project was really fun to make and pretty easy. It does take some time to make the pom-poms, but so worth it. I am thrilled with how this rainbow rug turned out, and I hope y'all all enjoyed this video as well. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. And don't forget to subscribe and enter the 1500 subscriber giveaway by 1 being a subscriber, 2 liking the video, and 3 leaving a rainbow emoji in the comments below. Also, be sure to go check out today's playlist and see what other fun projects these ladies have come up with. I'll see y'all next time. Time.